Condolences are pouring in for the late Right Honorable Sir James Fitz Allen Mitchell, former Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. He died on November 23rd at the Port Elizabeth Hospital in Bekwe at the age of 90 after a bout of illness. Condolences to his family and to the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And the passing of somebody was really a giant, not both in St. Vincent, but in the Caribbean. Former CARICOM ambassador to Haiti, Earl Huntley, in an interview via telephone, is one of many sharing kind sympathies to loved ones of the iconic Caribbean politician. In 1974, when he was Prime Minister of Premier of St. Vincent, he and um, Sir John, Sir John Compton and, and Eric Gary and got together and issued what they call the Petit St. Vincent Agreement which was an agreement among the three islands which would have allowed for free movement of people between those three islands to movement, meaning movement, to work and live in those islands. And it was, um, it was far-reaching at the time, and I said that's 1974. And um, unfortunately, that agreement didn't take a hold because of changing political fortunes to gain uh, lost power in some sense from that same year. And then just a senior to uh, Grenada proceeded to go to independence. But he never gave up. Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre, in a Facebook post, stated, quote, The government and people of St. Lucia mourn with the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines on the passing of former Prime Minister Sir James Mitchell. Our sincerest condolences go out to his family, and I ask that we keep them in our prayers. May he rest in peace. Unquote. Likewise, leader of the opposition, UWP, Alan Chastney, on his Facebook page, wrote, quote, We have lost a legendary Caribbean leader. The office of the leader of the opposition sends condolences to the family and friends of former Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Sir James Mitchell. May he eternally rest in peace, unquote. Sir James' resilience has been the hallmark of his political career and personal endeavors, the integrationist is credited with steering St. Vincent to economic stability and improving the standard of living of residents. So James and so John and at that time Dame Eugenia Charles in Dominica um, persisted and there was another movement by the 90s to form the well, Winwood Islands Political Union. And um, be, there were about four or five meetings of what was then called the Regional Constituent Assembly of which I was the secretary at the time, where we went to all four, all four islands, to get public comment and support and discussion of the political union idea. And um, that ended with a, 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 a draft constitution, as opposed to getting to the parliament to get um, endorsed. Um, all the islands except St. Lucia did it. Huntley says the Right Honorable Sir James Mitchell's contribution to the Eastern Caribbean cannot be overstated. He had close ties with St. Lucia, he had family here. And in fact, I think his early, one of his early jobs was, in, was here in St. In St. Lucia um, in agriculture. So, as I said, we have, the Caribbean has lost a, a good son of the Caribbean who tried very hard to bring the Caribbean islands, the, the, the eastern Caribbean islands, that is, together. Um, his dream did not materialize, but one would hope that someday it will as it has been the dream of so many others. At the time of his death, he was a member of the Interaction Council of former presidents and prime ministers. Sir James was not only a strong political ally, but a cousin of St. Lucia's first prime minister, Sir John Compton. Soja Alfred, HDS News Force.